I used to rely on old school VU meters for my mixes. However, VU meters weren't built for today's loudness standards. They don't show you luffs, they miss intersample peaks, and they don't tell you if you're hitting the target required by these platforms. That's where PSP Metro comes in. It's a complete metering solution that tells you everything you need to know about your audio. So whether you're mixing, mastering, streaming, or broadcasting, in this video, we'll walk through all the features and learn how you can deliver your mixes with confidence. Let's jump in. When you load up Metro, you're greeted with this clean, high contrast display. It's inspired by those old school 80s LCD meters, but under the hood, it's all modern DSP. Metro supports all the common plugin formats and works with all major DAWs and video editors. Let's start with the basics, level and dynamics. Metro gives you sample peak and true peak, RMS and VU, peak program meters, type one and type two, plus crest factor and dynamic range. You can customize the meter scales, colors, and refresh speed under the hood by clicking on this panel. The RMS type can be set to dynamic or VU. This makes it real simple to catch over compression or digital clipping before it ruins your mix. Metro View is the main operating mode of PSP Metro and the default screen when the plugin is launched. This view provides level meters in the form of classic bar meters. In the top section, correlation and stereo balance meters are available. Below, RMS and peak values are displayed along with dynamic measurements shown by the dynamic range or crest meters. The correlation meter shows the phase relationship between the left and right channels of a stereo signal. The scale typically ranges from minus one to plus one, where plus one indicates perfect phase alignment, such as in this mix. If I hit stop, zero represents no correlation. And if I flip one of the channels out of phase, you'll see that negative one means complete phase inversion between channels. You can access the minimal view by double clicking on the meters. Minimal view displays only the level and dynamics bar along with their maximum numerical values. This view offers two modes, standard and loudness. In loudness mode, the dynamic meters are replaced with loudness meters that display momentary, short-term and integrated loudness values. Click the option menu, engage loudness, close the option menu and double click on the meters. Each meter uses a three-layer display. The light blue bar represents a smooth and filtered average value. The semi-transparent brown bar shows the range of changes that occurred during the last three seconds. And the red marker indicates the instantaneous value updated in real time. Next up, stereo and face. Metro's got an advanced goniometer, showing you sum and difference or lissages modes. It also has a correlation meter to warn you of face issues a panorama balance meter, mid-side analysis with optional mid attenuation, and visual mono compatibility checking. Whether you're widening your mixes or folding it down, this view helps you stay out of trouble. The Lissages mode displays the stereo signal in the form of a classic Lissages figure, where the left channel is plotted on the horizontal axis and the right channel on the vertical axis. This mode also makes it easier to identify channel imbalance. If one channel is consistently louder, the figure shifts towards the corresponding side of the display instead of remaining centered. Let me give you an example. Let's increase the volume to the left channel by 6 dB. Notice how there's a rapid and irregular shape which indicates a highly dynamic stereo behavior. Now, if you're working with broadcast streaming or podcast, this part is huge. Metro is fully compliant with EBU R128 and ITU RBS 1770 standards. It measures momentary, short-term, and integrated loudness, loudness range, peak to loudness ratio, and peak to short-term ratio. And for dialogue, it has Dolby Dialogue Intelligence built in to keep you within the platform guidelines. An optional dialogue integrated mode is available based on Dolby's Dialogue Intelligence speech gating algorithm. This mode detects and isolates speech segments in the signal, then measures integrated loudness specifically for those dialogue sections rather than the entire mix. The goal is to provide a more perceptual, 
relevant metric for spoken content, ensuring accurate loudness evaluation for dialogue-focused material. This function is particularly useful not only for broadcast or streaming engineers, but also for podcast creators, YouTubers, and other content producers who aim to maintain consistent dialogue and intelligibility across episodes or platforms. It also includes presets for Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Netflix, and more. So you don't have to guess. MetroView is an all-in-one panel. You can access the minimal view by double-clicking on the meters. Use the goniometer for stereo work. Loudness view, which shows you loudness trends over time. History view allows monitoring changes in signal levels over time by collecting data from the bar meters and displaying it as graphical traces. The maximum length of the history buffer is 120 seconds. This view is divided into three main sections, history traces, histogram, and wave. The histogram bar on the left side shows a distribution of RMS VU values for the time range currently visible in the history trace. And at the top of the history view window, there is the wave sub window section, which displays the audio envelope and provides a visual reference for the level traces in the history traces section. Peak enables or disables the display of the peak trace in the history window. Dynamic button engages or disables the display of the dynamic trace. Dynamic view switches the way dynamics traces are displayed in the history view. Dynamic type toggles between dynamic range and crest factor display. The reset button clears all history buffers and starts accumulation from scratch. Freeze stops the updating of history traces, allowing closer visual inspection of the displayed data. Loudness view provides a detailed analysis of program loudness based on the EBU R138 recommendations and the ITU R BS1770 measurement algorithm. Unlike RMS, which is a purely mathematical measure of signal energy, loudness measurement is a perceptual method that uses K-weighting and gating to reflect the way humans perceive level. You can find that in the setup menu. The loudness view is designed as a reference tool for mixing, mastering, and preparing material for broadcast or online distribution. PSP Metro operates exclusively in online mode, analyzing the signal in real time, which allows precise loudness and dynamics monitoring during playback in the DAW session. So if you're a music producer, PSP Metro helps you deliver masters that hit the loudness target every time. If you're streaming or podcasting, it ensures that your audio is clear and consistent. And if you're delivering for broadcast, it keeps compliance simple. To download a free trial of PSP Metro, be sure to visit PSPAudioWare.com to test it out in your own sessions. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Peace.